Hello again, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wasman, and today we continue our journey into large digit multiplication. We're in our math journal on page 108, unit 4, lesson 2, finding estimates and evaluating answers. Let's read the instructions because they're rather unique. Write an estimate and show your thinking. Well, that's not necessarily new. We've been asked to uh, show our thinking quite a bit. But this next line here, that's a little unique. It says, use a calculator to solve the problem. Now, as we are building up to learning how to uh, multiply large digit numbers, uh, with the previous lesson where we uh, multiplied uh, single digit numbers by making them into tens and hundreds, and uh, we're going to be using estimates today to kind of give us a sense of how big our answer should be. Uh, I wouldn't count on seeing the instructions to use a calculator uh, beyond uh, this lesson. And then it says, check that your answer is reasonable based on your estimate. So we're going to uh, kind of break down this first problem together, and then I'm going to let you try the other two on your own. Problem one says, a house fly beats its wings about 190 times per second. A wasp can beat its wings about 400 times per second. About how many more times does a wasp beat its wings in one minute compared to a housefly? Okay, so what we're going to do here, first of all, is we're going to use the uh, ruckus strategy for problem solving, which is I'm going to read that problem more than once. I'm going to underline the question, circle important information, come up with an action plan, and then solve it, okay? So let's reread that problem. It says a housefly beats its wings about 190 times per second. So a housefly, 190 times per second. A wasp can beat its wings about 400 times per second. About how many more times does a wasp beat its wings in one minute compared to a housefly. So there's actually a couple of parts to this problem here. Uh, let's look at some of the language that they use. First of all, they use the phrase about. So we know we're estimating here. So our answer doesn't have to be exact for our purposes. However, you're going to notice that they also use the words second when describing how many times the insects beat their wings, but in the answer they're asking for the amounts of a minute. So that means we're going to have to multiply by 60 because there are 60 seconds in one minute. Then finally, there's this phrase about how many more times. So what are we being asked to do when it says how many more times does a wasp beat its wings in one minute compared to a housefly? Well, we are being asked to subtract. Okay. So what we need to do here is we need to first multiply each amount by 60 to come up with an answer of how many times each insect beats its wings in a minute. And then what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the two uh, products to come up with a difference. Okay. So here they want us to come up with an estimate. Okay. So I'm actually going to take the first uh, insects rate and I'm going to put that aside and I'm not going to look at the uh, housefly I'm going to look at the wasp because the wasp beats its wings 400 times per second okay so let's just first write down these two amounts hundred ninety times sixty and then 400 times 60. Now, 400 times 60 just has 
4 times 6 with a lot of zeros behind it. So if I know that 4 times 6 gives me 24, I just have to remember to multiply the single digits, 4 times 6, and then my product needs to include these three zeros behind it. So 24 and 1, 2, 3 zeros is 24,000 times in a minute. Okay, well that was easy. But let's look at 190 times 60. Now 190 uh, is 19 with a zero behind it. And we haven't gotten to how to multiply 19 times 6 yet. But we're being asked to come up with an estimate. And when I estimate, I can round things. So 19 is already rounded uh, to the nearest 10. But let's round this to the nearest 100 and make 190 200. So now I'm going to look at 200 times 60. 200 times 60 is basically 2 times 6 with a bunch of zeros behind it. Okay, And we all know that 2 times 6 is 12. So we just now have to include the three zeros. This one here, this one here this one here. So again, three zeros behind the 12. So 12 of three zeros is also called 12,000. So now what we have to do is we need to take the larger of the two numbers, 24,000, and then we have to subtract the smaller number, 12,000. Now again, when we're dealing with a lot of zeros, we can just kind of ignore them for a hot second uh, while we're doing our calculations because when I subtract 0 minus 0, I'm left with 0. So every time I see two zeros being added or subtracted, I just do nothing with them except remember to bring them down uh, when I'm calculating. So now I'm just basically subtracting 24 minus 12. And that, of course, gives us 12. So the difference between um, how fast or how many times a wasp beats its wings compared to a house pie is about... In, in a span of an entire minute, it's 12,000 times. That's my estimate. So now we have to answer the question, is my answer reasonable? Well, I can assure you it is, but how do we know? That's where using the calculator can uh, help us, okay? Because when I multiply 190 times 60, I learn that 190 times 60 is actually 11,400. Didn't leave myself much room to fit in an answer, but that's okay. Okay. And if I were to subtract 24,000 minus 11,000, 400, my answer is not going to be that far off from my uh, estimate answer. 0 minus 0, 0 minus 0, 0 minus 4, oops, I've got to uh, incorporate some regrouping, so I'm going to borrow uh, a group of 1,000 from the 4, making it into 3, and turning this 0 groups of 100 into 10 hundreds. Now I can subtract 10 minus 4, that gives me 6. 3 minus 1 gives me 2. Okay, so my answer actually is 12,600. So how do I know? My answer, we can say it was only di different, was only off by 600 compared 
to my estimate. One of the uh, common mistakes or common fallacies in math is that uh, we, we're not going to do a lot of writing or explaining. Uh, it's all about the numbers. Uh, but oftentimes we are asked to justify our answers and explain ourselves. Um, and that's basically all I did here is I uh, created a, uh, uh, some computations and then I just basically used words to describe what I did here. Okay? So again, walking through the process, I had to create an estimated multiplication problem. Uh, I took those two amounts and I subtracted the difference and then I used a calculator to check my work to see how close my estimate was compared to my answer. Lots of steps, you know, I see uh, three different shades of uh, highlighter in my, just looking at the instructions alone, so I know that can be kind of intimidating. However, just like in any task, if you take it one step at a time and you think about each step as you go, uh, it's not insurmountable. You can do this. It's not a big deal. All you have to do is remember to follow uh, your strategies, use ruckus to kind of walk yourself through the uh, story problem process, and just remember your estimation skills. Once again, friends, if you have questions about this assignment, please feel free to reach out to your math teacher. That's why they're there. They are here to help you in uh, whatever form you need. Okay. Uh, good luck with the rest of these problems, and we'll talk again soon. Thanks.